Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joe Brantuck, and I am NASDAQ's Chief Client Officer, and it is truly my great pleasure to welcome back our great friends from Chicago Innovations, as well as all the award winners. We are excited that you could all join us virtually right here from the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, as we get set to ring today's closing bell. We are honored to host for the 10th time the Chicago Innovation Award winners. Chicago is the only city in the world that has a group of innovative companies ring the NASDAQ bell each year. And it is for good reason. Let me share with you a few things that we have learned about Chicago as a city that embraces and fuels innovation. Chicago is number one among U.S. cities in the new and expanding corporate locations. It's also number one in direct foreign investments in North America. It's also number one in generating the largest VC return according to PitchBook. And Chicago is the most diversified economy in the United States with no one industry employing more than 13% of the city's workforce. Innovation continues to surge in Chicago and we are so proud to be the exchange partner for innovators such as yourselves supporting them at every stage of their growth. And we certainly recognize all of you for your leadership, energy, and passion, and we wish you much continued success with your businesses. And now, please join me in welcoming Chicago Innovations co-founder, Tom Kozmarski, as well as its direct executive director, Luke Tannen, to say a few words. Good afternoon, Chicago Innovation Award winners, and thanks to Joe Brantuck, Chief Client Officer NASDAQ for this unique opportunity for us to ring the closing NASDAQ bell. Never before in modern history have innovators played such an important role as they do today. They are the problem solvers that really are tackling society's biggest challenges. That's why we're proud to be joined by this year's Best Innovators in Chicago, the 2019 Chicago Innovation Award winners. Also joining us are board members and other leaders of Chicago, including our Diamond and Gold sponsors, SMS Assist, Theron Technology Solutions, Accenture, Comcast, Exelon, and Wintrust. And our special guest, Chicago's Deputy Mayor, Samir Mayakar. Together we are rising in collaboration and we're celebrating the spirit of innovation throughout all of the Chicagoland region. Now I'd like to introduce Luke Tannen, Executive Director, to highlight this year's winners. Thanks, Tom. Our winners inspire us and show us the best of humanity. They include healthcare companies at the forefront of saving lives, like Abbott and Abbey. We're celebrating Chicago nonprofits that help underserved communities access the services that they need, like the Chicago Foundation for Women, the Women's Business Development Center, Chicago Neighborhood Initiatives, Bounce Children's Foundation, Bunker Labs, Northern Illinois Food Bank, Young Invincibles, and the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless. We're honoring world-class museums that educate the minds of today and tomorrow, like the Adler Planetarium and the Chicago History Museum. They're Chicago companies that impact the world on an incredible scale. Take 2019 winner McDonald's, which feeds over 1% of the entire world's population daily. Chicago is also home to startups on the rise, and we're here to recognize our up-and-comer award winners, including Cardvise, Tillable, Winston Privacy, Solo Insight, Swap Motors, and City Zenith. Chicago's innovators are at the cutting edge of leveraging new technologies, like Fast Radius with advanced manufacturing, Current Media with blockchain, and Panacea Nano with nanoscience. One of our winners, Lanzatech, even has over 500 patents in the energy industry. We have product innovators like QB and Geobit, and service innovators like Envoy, Lumiere, and Cambium Networks. Chicago has it all when it comes to innovation. And these organizations remind us that problem-solving innovators will be at the forefront of leading the global recovery.